Guardian Standing bringing you guys another Destiny video. Today we're going to talk about Trials of Osiris with the week coming to Friday, with the uh, trials coming this weekend. I wanted to talk to you guys about how I set up my class for uh, Trials of Osiris, mistakes that I see other players making, as well as some of the best guns to use. Uh, first thing I want to cover is strength discipline and intellect I find that uh, when I'm specking guys uh, on the way into a trials map or um, you know I'm playing with you know random people or fans or you know wh whatever the case may be I find that a lot of times people don't pay attention to their intellect their discipline and their strength just so you guys know intellect obviously um, intellect decreases the cooldown time of your super Discipline reduces the cooldown time of your grenades, and strength reduces the cooldown time of your melee attack. Now, these numbers max out at approximately 270. 270 is, when I have it at 270, it's at 100%, and if I'm at 265, it's, you know, at 99%. So, you know, 270, give or take, is the number where these max out at 100 now having your intellect at 460 does absolutely nothing for you. Having it anything above 270 is a complete waste. So when choosing your armor, you may want to choose armor that gives off a variety of different things. Obviously, you want to make sure that you can get each one of your um, you know, grenade, uh, melee, and intellect as close to 100 as you can, but still spread out. Right now, I have 80% of intellect, I have 79% discipline, and I have 49% strength. Now, you're going to throw more grenades, and you're going to use your super more than you use your uh, melee. Reason being because there's a lot of you know, uh, far away combat, you're not necessarily always face to face with somebody and usually when you're going to do a melee attack you've already shot somebody with a shotgun and you're just finishing them up. You don't really need to have your um, you know, your scorch charge at that time. So, that's one thing that I wanted to talk about. Another thing is perks. Um, all of your weapons, they have, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, all of your armor has specific perks. Now, if you're not a close quarters combat type of person, you may want to choose uh, a piece of armor. Hopefully, you can still get it with the so that these line up, but you may want to choose a piece of armor that gives you increased reload speed with special weapons or sniper rifles if you're a sniper. If you're, you know, into close quarters combat, you may want to choose, um, you know, a, a weapon that, uh, or, you know, that a melee attack restores your super energy or a melee attack restores your grenade energy and vice versa. You want to make sure that the perks fit your play style. It's very important to, you know, know the way that you play, know how you're going to play trials and make sure that you choose your gear accordingly. Now, another thing is heavy weapon ammo. It's very important if you do choose a pair of uh, boots uh, or, uh, you know, a, a chest piece that does not give you more ammo for heavy and you're, you're going to heavy round. In between round uh, three, uh, two and three when you're, I'm sorry, it really is between round three and four when you're going for um, heavy ammo right before you spawn in or as you spawn in switch to something that gives you more ammo for heavy It allows you to pick up instead of two rockets four rockets and that can make a difference in some in some scenarios Now I want to talk about weapons thorn obviously the one of the best PvP weapons out there lingering damage the dot does seven per tick and you know it is a great way to uh, finish people off when you come really close to killing them and you might be using the last word or another weapon that uh, you wouldn't have been able to get the kill with. Now not only is Thorn overpowered, it, it fires fast, it's got it's got uh, final round, it's a great weapon all around. Now for those of you who don't have Thorn, last word is a good choice. Um, Vex Mythoclast, Red Death, um, you know the, most of the Trials of Osiris weapons, the Summoner, um, the messenger is a great weapon. The summoner, until they finally nerf fucking auto rifles again, you're kind of screwed with using the summoner because none of the weapons work. None of the auto rifles are worth anything. So, 
Um, first of all, you know, hand cannons are great. Uh, pulse rifles, you know, you, you want to make sure not to use like a fate bringer. It's a great PvE weapon, and the crucible just does not work very well. So you want to make sure that you choose, uh, you know, a good primary, something that you're comfortable with. If you're looking on LFG or you're playing with friends who demand you to use Thorn, play with somebody else. You need to play with what you're best with. If you're not good with the Thorn and you're not good at aiming it, don't use it. It's pointless. When it comes to um, your secondary, uh, depending on the map, you may want to have a sniper or you may want to have a shotgun. Personally, I run shotgun most of the time. I'm not the best sniper. I'm not a bad sniper. I just I, I don't like to snipe. So you want to either have a shotgun um, or you want to have a sniper rifle. You can use a fusion rifle, but I mean, unless that's what you're used to using all the time, I wouldn't even give it a, I wouldn't even try it. Trials is all about com competition and getting through it fast and, you know, beating the other team as quick as possible, getting to 9 0, getting to the lighthouse, getting the emblem and being a fucking beast. I mean, that's what it's about. It's not about anything more than that. So, um, use what you're good with, use what you're comfortable with. I personally, I have both the Party Crasher and the Matador. I like them, but for trials, I feel like they shoot too slow. And if I'm coming up against two people, I'm going to be able to kill both of them with my found verdict a lot more times than I'll be able to kill both of them with a Party Crasher or a Matador. Now, when it comes to uh, your heavy, always want to use rockets. Um, personally, uh, in regular PvP, if I'm playing control or if I'm playing skirmish, whatever it is that I'm playing, I'm usually going to be using a heavy machine gun. But when it comes to trials, nobody uses machine guns. So you do want to make sure that you choose um, a rocket launcher with good perks. I just re-rolled this weapon, so it's not upgraded anymore. But the two best perks that you can get for... Um, for PvP, especially for trials, would be both tripod and proximity um, grenades and horseshoes perk. Reason why is because uh, you know you, you don't really have time to aim down your sights, and if your rocket is close to them, it will blow up and kill them. So you kind of get the you know the the most amount of kills per um, you know heavy ammo round per you know per rocket that you shoot. So basically, guys, um, like I said, the most important things to remember. Don't waste, um, you know, your abilities here. Don't max one out at 400 because it's not going to do you any good. It's going to do you absolutely nothing. Um, like I said, also, your special, your special ammo, or sorry, your special weapon, your primary weapon, and your heavy weapon. Make sure that you find good perks. And when it comes to your subclass, um, I personally, Warlock is my favorite character. Um, I always use Touch of Flame. I only get one grenade, but my one grenade catches you on fire, and you burn longer, and it does a, a, a huge amount of damage. I can hit you one time with my thorn or my last word, then throw a grenade at you, and you're going to burn to death. So this is the setup that I use on my Warlock. Um, also, you know, obviously with the Hunter, you would want to use probably... Um, you know what whatever you're best with and if if you know if you're a warlock and you don't like to run uh, void walker or you don't like to run radiance you know and you're playing with people who insist that you use a certain class find another group there's millions of people out there that are playing trials every week so make sure that you guys you know play with whatever you're comfortable with so that's what I have uh, for tips for you guys on trials of Osiris um, if you like the video drop a like subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time.